If you were playing Blocks Fruits and happened to stumble across either of these two fruits on the floor, what would you do? Most people would drop them both in the water or just walk straight past them. But today, I've decided I'm going to be mastering these fruits to pit them against each other and see if they're as bad as they seem. Their names, the Spring and Kilo Fruits. <laughs> yeah, there's no way to make that sound cool. <laughs> nom, nom, nom. Cool. Now I am a Kilo Kilo man. And this is what we are starting with first, because how this is going to work is I'm going to be taking a first C account and see how fast I can level with this and how long it takes to get all of its moves, which we have three to unlock with the Kilo fruit. And we need to get a maximum of 75 mastery. And I'm going to be doing this with both fruits. And after all of that, we are trying Project Doomsday. Ooh, spooky. Yeah, I'll, I'll talk about Project Doomsday once we actually get the fruits leveled up. Now, the good news is for this account, we are at the prison right now. So we can actually get some decent mastery by fighting dangerous prisoners and eight of them. Are you dangerous? Nope, you're not dangerous. Are you dangerous? Yeah, this guy's dangerous. I've come back to my roots. I'm back in the first sea and I do no damage. Wow, I am weak. 10,000 kilos. Boom. 270 damage. Yeah, that's nothing special. It's no surprise that I've never used this fruit properly before on my main account, apart from doing a couple of experiments. 10,000 kilos again. Yeah, this is going to take ages, and I'm not allowed to use anything else. As you can see, I've only got basic combat and nothing else. And to make extra sure, like, look, this is all that I've got in this account's inventory. Nothing. He's at half. It's taking so much time, but I should be able to do this, and watch me get, like, five mastery XP for this. Oh, I've got him stuck. Perfect. Kilo smash. And a lot of grinding later. He is still not dead. Hang on. One more cooldown and then he's gone. This is the power of the kilo fruit right here. Yep, that is anticlimactic. But with this, we've got 25 mastery. Not bad from one mob. And also our next move called 20,000 kilo. Yeah, just 20,000 kilograms. So let's give it another try on the dangerous prisoner. <laughs> Boom. Honestly, I mean, it's going to make grinding these guys a bit quicker. Now, I also don't have any observation or anything actually useful to help me with this. So actually, let me go check. Are the bosses alive? Oh, ho, ho. Victims. Warden, level 220 boss. You're nothing to me. In fact, maybe you're something. This is going to take a while. I got to be careful. I mean, I can see why this is like supposedly one of the worst fruits in the entire game right now. Because it's doing nothing. 20,000 kilos. Boom. With the kilo fruit, does it work so if you're higher, you do more damage? I can't even tell. And so Strangely enough as well, once I've leveled up these two fruits, that will mean I've leveled up every single fruit in all of box fruits. I will have completed the game, you could say. Professional Roblox man. So far, I've discovered one thing I like about this fruit, and it's that it's basically the Mario Mario fruit. Because when you jump and then charge up this move, you just Goomba stomp the mobs. Oh, there we go. Boss defeated. And we got like no mastery. Wow. That was not worth the time investment. I wonder if this fruit's even going to be good for grinding at the end of this. Because that's what I want to find out. Are these fruits actually any good for grinding? Is there a reason? And why people actually just never recommend these fruits. So far, it does seem like there's a reason. But like now, I, th I think I'm confident enough to fight two of these guys at once. I think I'm skilled enough. I've got the movements. They can't hit me. Never mind. Okay, like six dangerous prisoners later, and we've got our next skill called 50,000 kilograms. As you can tell, super creative names with this fruit. <laughs> Let's see what this one does. I think this is the one that I could use from like anywhere. And it does like... Yeah, I'm, I'm like a meteor. Extra heavy. I guess it'll make my grinding efficiency like a little bit faster. But like the first C, it's a struggle with this fruit. Maybe if I've got like race awakening in the third C, this fruit would be below average. <laughs> but so far, I can see why people would just throw this in the water or leave it alone. But maybe everything will change when I get this move called lighten. Uh, I'm not going to be ready for Project Doomsday. This is not good. 55 mastery. We're going to fight both of these bosses at the same time. I'm feeling a bit devious. I know I shouldn't be fighting these bosses at the same time because I'm just not the right level. But who knows? Maybe I can do this. I don't think they have any special moves, so this shouldn't be too bad. It's just gonna take so long. All right, I'll be back in five business days once I finally beat these guys. I've beat both of his guards. Maybe I could beat Swan with this Kilo Fruit. It's not looking promising because I have, like, no stamina, but I've done that much. Okay, right, this is doable. Maybe. I just gotta dodge and weave. As soon as I see his arm do his little movement, dodge. If you wanna be a Kilo Fruit user, it seems like you gotta have the reaction times of a god. And after one basically Matrix movie fight, I've finally managed to get him low. I, this is still losable, but... Yes, three whole levels. We need another 12. Yeah, the grinding efficiency of getting mastery on this fruit, it's not it, chief. So hopefully the spring fruit will be better when we get to that. Hopefully. And we are at mastery 74. We need like the tiniest smidge of mastery to go. And then we can get the final move, lighten. And honestly, this has taken an insane amount of time. So like me personally, if I'm seeing a kilo fruit on the floor from now on, it's going straight into the ocean. It could maybe redeem itself when we get to Project Doomsday. But for now... 
There we go. We got our final move called Lighten. What happens? We become Mary Poppins. Amazing. What a good fruit. <laughs> what I do want to test though is does Lighten increase our damage? So if I see this to begin with, we do 301 right now. And then if I Lighten and we drop from the sky, what happens? I'm as light as a feather. Here we go. 301. That changed nothing. Okay, that's the kilo fruit mastered. Next up, we've got the spring fruit. Who are these guys? I'm being threatened by first sea noobs. Get away from me. Knock. Oh, no. The battle of the mobile noobs. This is rough. Okay, wait. This could make the spring fruit be better. Oh, my damage. Wait, I'm different. Bro, you don't want to challenge me. I'm literally different. He might have... What's that? Dark step? Yeah, try and fight me. These guys are like copy-paste of each other. Oh, he's got kilo as well. Oh, no. The PvP is coming out for that guy. I'm in trouble. Maybe I can like lure these guys to get the boss weakened. Okay, let's try this. Hey, you. Come over here. Oh, he's getting low. This spring fruit's amazing already. And I'm... <laughs> I mean, this is kind of like bullying, but... Oh, okay, get rid of that guy. There's one. The boss is angry. Go, boss, take him down. Right now, I just gotta, like, hide around this tree. Yes. Snipe. I missed. Oh, no, this guy's back for round two. He doesn't have his combat on, though. Knock him into the boss. It's actually working. This guy's much stronger than his friend. Who would have thought just eating a spring fruit would make everybody angry at me? We are on the same account, and I'm gonna go try and do this leveling somewhere else. Away from these guys. Okay, here we go. Final hit. Boom! Obtained Usopp's hat. Spoils of war. I like it. All right, cool. That was a job well done. We got a new hat. Now we can try and level up the spring fruit. And this fruit, we need 125 mastery, meaning it's gonna take a lot of work. And maybe to do that, we just come over here and we steal this guy's kill. Look, we're friends now. We're friends now. We're gonna work as a team from enemies and rivals to friends. This is like the plot of every anime ever. Let's work together, boys. We can take down this boss together. I love how they're just copy-paste versions of each other. Okay, cool. Right, we got a bit of mastery to begin with with the spring. We've got spring snipe off the bat. And with this, let's see, does it do damage? We've got little springs on our legs. Bonk. You know what? That's not bad. It's better than the kilo so far. Our next move, we're going to need to get 50 mastery to get. So I think double mastery is literally needed if I even have enough Robux on this account. Double mastery, please. Do I have enough? Yes, I got a thousand Robux. Perfect. Now our training arc can truly commence. So although double mastery makes like the grinding side of this like completely irrelevant, it feels like with only two moves, I've got way more options than all of kilo combined because I've got like a dashing move. I've got a dangerous punch attack. And this is only with 44 mastery as well. So soon we're going to get spring cannon, which should make our damage even better. But so far, neither of these fruits am I ever picking up off the floor. Like ever. And with that, we've got our next move. Spring cannon. All right, dangerous prisoner. How about this? We're charging up the legs. And then... Ooh, wait, that's basically like a kilo attack. That's pretty good. And a little bit of grinding later, we've got a new skill. Spring leap. And this does... Oh, wow. You can, like, jump around and, like, do some bouncing. That seems pretty good. Wait a second. I've got an idea. This could be the perfect area to... Oh, oh, wait, I can travel so far in this area with this fruit. Okay, you know what? Maybe spring fruit's not as bad as kilo. It has taken me probably over an hour, but I'm finally a mastery 124. One more mob, and then we'll get our last move. And then we'll be able to do like a proper tier list. But which one of these fruits is the best in the first seed? This has been absolute hell, and we haven't even got to the hard part yet. But there we go. We got our last move called Spring Emperor. And there we go. Finally, Swan. Perfect person to test out my new move on. Spring Emperor. Bong, 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 bong. <laughs> Wait, that's actually pretty good. I mean, both of these fruits are horrendous and I wouldn't recommend them to anyone. But if I had to decide which one is better, I gotta say the spring fruit because it can do this. Like, <laughs> how good is this? Swan will never be able to catch me. I'm invincible. Oh, look, this guy has come to try and cause some problems. But little do they know, I've got the movement diff. This is my kill. I'm different now. They just can't hit me. <laughs> Oh, boom. I got him. This whole time while I've been training, they've also been farming bosses. They've got better fruits and I still destroyed them. Oh, he's back. Now we dodge and weave. Dodge and weave. He can't stop me. I'm too quick. And that isn't even my final form. Boom. Boss defeated. Okay, so the first fruit we used was a kilo fruit. Experience in the first sea, right there. That's where it belongs. The spring fruit, also right there. That's where it belongs. But enjoyment factor? This has got to go all the way up here because of that ability to just bounce off walls like a maniac. This just makes this fruit fun. It doesn't do anything, but it's fun. But now that we've mastered these two very newbie fruits, we got to put them to the test in Project Doomsday. So I did a little mining off camera. And as you can see, my mastery is higher and I'm in the third C. Now then, for this extremely difficult fight, we're going to be putting these fruits to the test against two different bosses. Two of the hardest bosses in the entire game. The Cake Queen and the boss that I'm off to go fight right now that I have nightmares about still. And here's the deal with Project Doomsday. We only get one life and we have to use this fruit to try and beat this boss. This is going to be impossible, but I'm going to give it a go. My first plan was like, this is a cave. So surely, yup, spring fruit. 
Okay, this cave is too big. Never mind. So this is already a problem. I also don't have the right stats. Luckily, I've got a refund. Oh, he tried to hit me with a sneak attack while I was fixing my attacks. You think that's okay? You think that's allowed? Oh, this is rough. Even with this fruit's movement, I just can't dodge that guy. Chill. Relax. It's not that deep. There's a reason why this was called Project Doomsday, and I get it now. It's because it's so impossible. This boss is built different. Yeah, there's no way I'm beating this guy with common fruits. There's just no way. Dodge and weave. Dodge and weave. I'm dead. He sniped me out the sky. Well, we gave it our best with spring. Next up, we've got the kilo fruits, and honestly, I'm kind of worried about this one. I am on my main account, but honestly, it means nothing. We got lots of stuns with kilo, so maybe we can, like, overwhelm him and then run away when we need to. You know, this might be impossible. Okay, yeah, the Kilo Fruit did not even stand a chance. Project Doomsday Remastered. We're fighting the Cape Queen next. Arguably, like, one of the strongest bosses in the third sea. So I'm gonna try my hardest to try and defeat her using the Spring Fruit. Bear in mind, I don't have a lot of mastery with this, so it's probably gonna be pretty tough. But actually, wait a second. Yes. I can dodge and weave. She can never hit me. <laughs> this is the Cape Queen. Queen Killer. This is what I'm naming this fruit from now on. Only if I complete Project Doomsday though. Alright, it's gonna take a while, but I believe we can do this. I've kind of come to the conclusion that this video is just if Shower Thoughts was a video. You know, what would happen if you put the Spring Fruit against the K-Queen? That was basically the exact thought process that I had. In other words, I had no thought process. Spring Emperor, where'd you go? Punch! Now dodge! Yes, you're finished! Boom! And we got a buddy sword. Let's go. The spring fruit passed Project Doomsday. Now we got to try and do that again, but with the kilo fruit, which is going to be very tough. And a bit of waiting later, she's back. Okay, right. The good thing about kilo is it has loads of stuns. So as long as I dodge the cake queen's attacks like that, this honestly should not be too bad. I think it's possible to defeat cake queen with both of these, despite them being so bad. I just think the beautiful pirate's on a different level. You've got to be an absolute blocks fruits prodigy to defeat that guy. The only problem with cake queen is I just can't use my light and move because there's nowhere for me to go. There's a roof. But once again, we just do ring around the rosy and then Cake Queen will be also defeated. And here we go. The final hit. This is it. I said the final hit and then did three more. Please just let me end my suffering. Yes. Cake Queen was defeated by both of them with like terrible mastery. So Project Doomsday was like half a success. But with this, we've mastered two of the worst fruits in all of Blocks Fruits. But if you want to see how I managed to get this soul guitar in my hands right now, then check out the video on screen.